is my 600cc cross cart and today I'm going to be stripping everything and getting this thing powder coated. I'm not sure exactly which color I'm going to choose but I assume you guys watching will already see the color. I mean this thing is just rusty. I think the powder coating will just finish it and give it the professional look so let's get to it. All right guys, so I almost got the engine out. It's actually coming along really nice. Uh, excuse my dirty face. I was running late to the appointment so I had to do some last minute welding touches to the cross guard on the trailer and the thing didn't even take too long to take apart it only took me four to five hours all right guys so I got the cross cart loaded up it took me one full day to weld everything out uh, I wasn't even welded out all the way and just last minute here on the trailer I had to weld some spots up that I missed uh, and now we're gonna take this thing to get powder coated so I am super excited so I'll catch you then before I show you the finished outcome, this video was brought to you by Factor. Now Factor sends fresh, never frozen meals right to your doorstep. And you have 25 plus options to choose from. They have things like seafood, keto, and even vegetarian options. So it's definitely super convenient. It cuts out uh, meal prep time. You don't have to clean up your mess after. And especially for those of you that are busy or just looking to eat healthy, Factor is definitely a great option. Now, for me, I work from home. Well, well, I work from the garage, but Factor helps save me time so I don't have to order takeout and I can eat healthy because I actually love to eat. I mean, who doesn't? For a limited time, Factor is giving Vasily Bills viewers $130 off across six boxes. So head over to go.factor75.com slash 130 and use the code Vasily130 to get $130 across six boxes. So again, big thanks to Factor for sponsoring this video. But with that being said, let's get back to the video. All right guys, so it's been a few days and I'm going to pick my parts up for the powder coating. And I actually got a surprise for you guys. I uh, decided to powder coat some extra parts, so I'll show you when I get there. So here it is guys, the cross skirt is back from powder coating. And yeah, I did kind of choose a basic color but you just, you just can't go wrong with black. Powder coating isn't necessarily cheap, but it does save you a lot of time, and that's why I decided to go with it, support my local business, and I would have had to spend about three days wire wheeling this thing, waiting for the paint to dry, and probably harming my lungs in the process. So I decided just to go with the powder coating. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get this frame off the trailer, and we're gonna start uh, dressing this thing up, and I can't wait to see how it turns out. There we go. I guess you gotta fake it till you make it. <laughs>
right guys well here's the cross guard it turned out amazing I'm so happy with how it looks and if you actually notice I put the OG rear wheels on now for the price breakdown I'm gonna tell you exactly how much this thing cost me to build starting with the most expensive thing uh, the engine this is a GSXR Suzuki 600 uh, it has a hundred horsepower uh, but luckily for me it was donated by one of my subscribers he gave me everything I needed the wiring harness airbox exhaust headers all that stuff and I'm just so thankful so big shout out to Sean for uh, helping me make this possible now if you want to do an off-road build I highly recommend you guys go up to a 1000 or even a 1300 Hayabusa engine uh, because these 600s they have no torque I mean it's only like 30 40 foot pounds so definitely whack torque for anyone wanting to build one of these things I advise you not to buy engines off eBay because eBay has its own markups and plus shipping uh, instead I would recommend getting a whole donor bike and after you're finished taking it apart you can sell the frame and the wheels and make your money back so for the second most expensive thing is all the metal used which comes out to around a thousand dollars for the tires and wheels I paid around four hundred dollars I'm not including these Koenig wheels in though and then the seats and this cover I paid three hundred seventy dollars for so for all the Heim joints, there's probably about 30 of them I paid $400 for. And then all the steering components, I mean, this is forged carbon, uh, some very nice RZR stuff, plus a steering quickener and a nice steering rack. I paid $550 for. And pedals, I did make my own pedals, so those were free. Moving on to the suspension, this is something you actually don't want to cheap out on. Uh, I paid $1,200 for a full set of shocks that are custom valve to this buggy's weight and I highly recommend you guys to do that if you're seeking performance. Um, however, if you're on a super tight budget, I would suggest getting some used side-by-side -side shocks or maybe even Miata coilovers. For this drive spool, I paid $416 and they don't actually make them anymore so you would probably have to build your own and for all the hubs, sprockets and chains. Uh, that was $215 and then the front brake rotors and spindles that was another $200 this carbon fiber wing was $110 and for all the hardware and bolts I used that was probably around $300 I did pay $300 in registration and sales tax fees to get this thing street legal and then I also paid $75 for all the lights on this build so the headlights the mirrors with the integrated turn signals and then the brake light and then for the powder coating and sandblasting I paid $450 so the total comes out to $5,936 and that's not including a penny of my labor I do gotta say guys that the money is well spent this is a great little platform it's so thrilling to drive a lot of people have been asking if I'm gonna sell this thing and if you look at I guess the nearest competitor the Sierra car I mean those retail for fifty five thousand dollars so the price would definitely not be cheap if you were to buy this thing but this is not a perfect machine one of the things I wish I did differently is built the cockpit bigger I mean this is just kind of a safety thing and a more of a universal type thing for different drivers bigger drivers um, but for me it does just fine and for off-road use it'll do just fine there was also talks about me going turbo with this thing but as much as I would love to it'd be way better for me to sell this thing and move on to cross cart version 2 and refine it even more make it much better bigger faster stronger just the list goes on so yeah guys uh, I'm just pretty happy with how this thing turned out so there you go guys if you want to build something at this scope of performance uh, you are looking to spend five to ten thousand dollars although it is definitely possible to build a cross guard for under five thousand dollars there is definitely lots of money to be saved I mean a lot of this stuff on here is bling I'm not even gonna lie so uh, with that being said guys I am gonna go take this thing out do a couple burnouts and drifts and uh, stay tuned for the next few videos I might take this thing to the drag strip and do some uh, off-road stuff. So yeah, that's the price reveal. And before I end this video off, I'm going to go do some drifts and burnouts and just show you guys this thing in its full finished glory. And of course, if you want to see this thing in action, I do have two videos already. Uh, actually, three that you could check out. But uh, yeah, I guess let's get to it.
Okay guys, my neighbors have not called the cops on me in like three years, so uh, I don't want to ruin anything. And if they ever need anything, they could always come to me to get their stuff welded.